my name is Isabel and we are going to do a follow-up video of Lawrence's how to teach kids piano technique video so I've got my buddy here Sharon Wang Sharon Wang is seven years old and she is now in grade four but when she first came to me her piano technique was pretty bad wasn't it Sharon yeah. Yeah, so this is, come closer, you can see her guilty face. <laughs> so was her piano technique pretty bad? Uh, finger and curve. So her fingers were very flat, yes. And what else? You were like a kangaroo, isn't it? So we always teach kids, we don't want our wrist to be high because if your wrist is really high, you'll become a kangaroo. And we don't want that, we want our wrist to be low. So C major scale, this is how we teach kids. Well, this is how I teach kids. So come to Come bring the camera a little bit closer. So Lawrence did the crocodile game, but I do the bunny in the burrow and bunny over the river game. And I swear every single time I teach this to a kid, they could never go wrong. So come closer again to the camera. Then I say, you three turn. This thumb we imagine is a bunny. The bunny wants to go home into the burrow. Now, if your finger is flat, can the bunny go home, Sharon? No. no, so we ask the kid or ask your student, if your bunny can't go home, what could they do? You have to curve your fingers. If you lift your wrist high, what do you become? You become a? Kangaroo. Yes, yeah, so we become a kangaroo. We don't want that. So back here again. Bunny into the burrow. One, two, three, four, five. And then when we come down, bunny over the river. So we're going to imagine finger three is the bunny now. Finger one is the river and it goes over the river, but we're tucking, you see? We don't go and do a rainbow effect, so you just explain, no rainbow effect. We're just tucking, three, two, one. So again, bunny through the burrow. So no longer is a three tuck, we don't say that. For kids, we now say bunny in the burrow. So all my kids <laughs> and I have different terminology. Instead of saying, wrist is high, I would say, no kangaroo effect. And they know I mean no wrist high. Then I say, bunny in the burrow. They know I mean bunny or the thumb tucks into the key. And then coming back down, I say, bunny over the river on three. They know exactly what I mean. So let's do two octaves now. Bunny in the burrow on three, four, three, and then up. Coming down. Bunny over the river, so this is the river now. Three, four, three. Let's try, Sharon. Just C major scale. Three, four, three, four. So it's three, then four, three rule. So what we then say and teach them, if they make lots of mistakes, three, it gets stuck, and then bunny through the burrow. Four, you get stuck, and then bunny through the burrow. Three, you get stuck. And we always use all the fingers. And then coming down, oh no, we're stuck, what do we do? Don't worry, the bunny on three, come save the day. Bunny on four, bunny on three. So let's try, Sharon, the three, four, three rule. Three, four. Oh, which one's four? Good girl, three, good. And coming back down, three, four, Sharon, and then we give them a high five. Well done. Now another thing a lot of students get confused is their fingering numbers. So what do we do? We put our hands up. So put your hands up Sharon and let's do it together. Finger one, finger two, finger three, four, five. And we do it a few times. So do it again Sharon. One, two, three, four, five. Now especially harder if kids are around five years old or six years old. So you just do it a few times and then you do a game with them. So Sharon, squeeze my finger three. Good. And notice they're squeezing only one hand. So keep going. Finger two, finger five, finger one. Good. Now you tell them use both hands. So bring the uh, camera a bit closer. So both hands now. Finger three. Good. Finger two, finger five, Finger one, finger three, good. And then this time I do it to them. All right, finger three, finger one, finger four, finger two, finger five. And you tell the kids and parents, you must do this game every single day. And then that's how they improve their finger numbers and that's how they can count out loud, also reading the score as well. Now, 
Another way to teach C major skill, now that you learn the finger numbers, is that instead of telling them, the kids can read it by themselves. So come here and have a look. On the score, you can see the finger numbers. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. And then you tell the kids to read it out. So Sharon, read it out loud for me. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Good, and then you can also write in the rest of the numbers as well. Because not all the kids can read really well. Now reinforcing the finger turns 3-4-3 three, three rule. We turn on 3, we turn on 4, we turn on 3. You circle it for them. Coming back down, 3-4-3. Three, three. This will help with the visual element. Same with the left hand as well. 3-4-3, three, three. up the top, then coming back down, 3, write the numbers, 4-3, and then finishing off, you then Tell them each day five times. Left hand, five times right hand, then five times both hands. Easy, Sharon? Yeah. Yeah, and then how many scales do you usually do each week now? Four. I think you do more. She does like Russian, four Russian patterns, chromatic, and split octaves. Around six you now do. So for grade four students, we usually do around six scales. But if you're a beginner, one scale a week is fine, and then slowly try and encourage two scales and four octaves and so on. So thanks very much, Sharon, for being my buddy today, and we'll see you next time. Bye!